Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Frog Sword. Uh, this game has kind of a sad story to it, if you have not heard, but um, it was in development for quite a while by Mech 6 Games, and unfortunately, uh, due to some, I believe, some infighting between the people working on the game, uh, it is no longer in development, although Zach Bell, who was working on the game, is now working on a new game that is supposed to be similar to Frog Sword. Uh, but the alpha, which was pretty closed for a while, is now available, and I thought that I would kind of show it off. Uh, of course, there's no music because it, it is pretty early, but basically uh, the game was kind of a Super Meat Boy-esque, uh, some hints of like Dust Force, some stuff like that. I mean, basically it was just like an action platformer um, where you play as a frog with a sword, and yes, I can use that sword. So basically what we can do, we can wall jump, we can jump, just, of course, you know, just regular jump, um, and then we can do this dash jump in mid-air, so we're going to get into some pretty crazy things pretty fast here. Um, you know, what? it is really too bad that this, um, you know, couldn't, couldn't happen, but, uh, you know, I'm glad to hear that, that, Zach is is not letting that stop him from making games uh, because what is here, considering this is like an alpha prototype, is absolutely amazing. If you are a fan of Super Meat Boy, if you are a fan of action platformers in general, then you have got to give this uh, download a try just to kind of see what, what might have been. Um, because uh, what's interesting, right? So, I've, I mean, I've played all of the games that I listed off. Um, I, I find this probably I wouldn't say as good as Meat Boy, but it I find it way, way better than Dust Force, which kind of tried to do Meat Boy with combat. And I feel like this just pulls it off much, much tighter. Um, you know, it all feels better, and honestly, I think it looks better than Dust Force as well, although that is some um, personal opinion, of course. Uh, there were stars here, which of course kind of points to the fact that there would have been some extra challenge collectibles uh, similar to bandages in Meat Boy. But yeah, I mean, the gameplay here is like super, super solid. Um, it's, it's a game that, like, if you have played a lot of platformers, you are going to be at home playing this. Like, it is just going to feel absolutely right. Um, I never die for something that, that feels like the game's fault. It's absolutely my fault every single time that I die which is what I want in a platformer like this. Um, I do like that there were also like multiple enemies here. So this is a totally different enemy from the one that we just fought, of course. Um, and you know, the, the art style is really, really nice. I know it, it probably loses a bit looking at it on YouTube because it's, it's in a bit of a weird resolution, so it's probably blown up a bit, but... Um, you know, if you if you give this a download and check it out, it, it looks amazing. Uh, you know, and I, I'd like to imagine that the music that the game would have gotten would probably have been really, really good as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, at the end of the day, like, it's just really unfortunate that, you know, whatever caused the game to not happen, it, you know, it's unfortunate that that happened at all, because I would have really, really loved to see this um, kind of reach its full potential. But I, you know, I, I know that Zach, like I said, is uh, hard at work on another game with uh, some similar similar ideas here. I know that um, he, like I follow him on Twitter, and I know that at one point he was tweeting, basically asking if people wanted to see a different kind of game or if they wanted to see an action platformer. And I think the overwhelming response was action platformer because this is like on par with stuff like Meat Boy. It feels just absolutely perfect for uh, controls for a platformer, which of course are very important for obvious reasons. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much what's going on here. Uh, you know, it's a shame that we couldn't get music. It's a shame that we couldn't get more levels. Uh, I will play through all of the the kind of alpha demo here because there's sadly not a lot, only a few levels, but uh, what's here already is really good and what I like is that the difficulty 
it's already kind of like ramped up from the very beginning. You know, the first few levels, of course, are pretty easy. Similar to Meat Boy, I guess, where the first few levels are, are pretty easy and just kind of teach you the rules and kind of force teach you in a way um, how everything works. But then you can see, like, complicated jumps like that are already introduced this early. Of course, uh, you know, it's hard to tell if this would have been, like, the actual progression of the finished game or if there would have been some easier levels thrown in here in between. But, um, you know, I like the pace of this as someone who's played a lot of platformers. Uh, I felt like levels like 1 and 2 really kind of taught me the rules. I got a good feel for how uh, Frog Sword plays, and then I was ready to go. And right when I was ready to go and get some challenge, the game gave it to me. Like, it, it gets hard pretty fast here, and I, I appreciate that. Um, also, I feel like something that actually makes this stand out a bit um, against things like Meat Boy and Dust Force is the, the dash attack. Because I find that a lot of times with games like Meat Boy, it can be really pretty um, difficult to kind of recover if you make a mistake. Because a lot of times there's nothing you can do. But with the, with the dash, um, I find that it is actually kind of easy to recover so you can uh, make a lot of mistakes and still be okay typically and uh, you know I think that that's a really good quality for the game to have because uh, this is really cool so there's like obstacles there that you are supposed to go through but if you are pretty good at the platforming you can actually like skip some stuff so it makes me think that um, there would have been some interesting potential like level skip things going on where if you were better at the platforming than someone else you could maybe get uh, a little bit of an easier time through the level if you took like one or two harder jumps so different definitely a lot of neat ideas here and uh, you know I think that's what makes it noteworthy and here's another one that I'll do actually uh, as you can imagine I, I played around with this kind of demo build quite a bit. And then this is the kind of stuff that had me really excited because we've got all these times where you're actually forced to um, fight and use this mechanic of being able to dash after attacking. So, you know, that that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, that is the end of our little demo here. But we get, great, you fulfilled your mission, it will revive peace in space, but it may be invaded by the other met by, yeah, by the other Metroid. Pray for a true peace in space. So, um, you know, that's, that's Frog Sword. Like I said, definitely unfortunate that it, uh, you know, it will never see the light of day other than this little demo here. You know, all, uh, how many levels here? 20 levels or so, but... You know, I think that's that's okay. It had to happen, but, um, you know, I'm glad that at least we get this, and if nothing else, this is a nice little taste of what you can expect from Zach Bell. And if you, you know, if you like the looks of this, if you download the alpha and like the way that the alpha plays, then I would suggest following Zach on Twitter, because he posts a lot of uh, cool game dev stuff as is, but also he is the uh, person to look out for for the potential of some more Frog Sword-like gameplay in the future. But yeah, that is, um, that's where I'm going to have to leave this one off, but I do encourage you to go down and click the download link and uh, check it out for yourself, especially if you are a fan of platformers like this. I think if you, you know, if you like Meat Boy, you gotta give this a try, because this is, uh, it's basically Meat Boy with combat, and it's everything that I would want from that. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna leave this one off for today, but as always, feel free to leave comments, um, if you would potentially like me to do more cancelled games, that could be something I'd do, uh, in the future. If I find some more, but you'll have to let me know in the comments if that is something you are interested in. But, um, yeah, other than that, so.
comment, uh, subscribe if you like my content and haven't subscribed already, and of course if you liked my look at Frog Sword, then please do uh, consider clicking the like button, because that helps me out a lot. But with that being said, I will thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you next time.